Hello everybody, welcome to the shop for this almost the weekend episode of Bob TV in the AM. Baby. Alright guys. I'm working on my greatest masterpiece of all. My fuel cell slash oil cell. Okay. I got a lot of you guys confused on what's going on. Steve O Blaster, the rocket scientist. <laughs> and others. Uh Okay, this is my main big tank, okay? I glued it together last night, got all this installed, and this morning I sanded these edges real good so I can bond them all. Now this one, it's got a fuel outlet. This is the one my clunk's on, the longer one, and this one's a vent just going up to the top of the tank. Okay, the one on the bottom it's uh same thing big clump drilled out big copper tubing or brass tubing big one going up to the vent we even want the vents uh big on these because uh fuel flows through them too and uh, everything's just got to be big on these big turbines man if, they, if you don't you end up with uh, your pump bolts goes too high and your turbine actually shut off when it gets to a certain point. And I also had to ring these uh, carbon fiber tubes out a little bit. Kind of had to make me a reamer. Check it out. Okay, this drill bit drilled through there a little bit. Uh, but it still wasn't quite big enough. What was stopping me is... Uh, this deal on the back and it won't do no good to grind it down because then you can't get the stopper in there anyway and uh, this bit just they drilled it out a little bit but wasn't quite enough so I'd take me a piece of sandpaper to a drill bit and uh, made an awesome reamer awesome had the shop back hose on this side and drilled it out no dust no nothing worked out great now we gotta loop this up a little bit. And pull the stopper down. Okay, the screwdriver up here. Pull this stopper down a little bit. It's really gotta be uncompressed <laughs> because it's still a pretty tight fit. Bit. Loose things up a little bit. <laughs> it's still a tight fit there, boss. Poke that rubber down in there a little bit. Now, where I fill these up through the air trap guys so that's why I don't need a third line to fill these up because we fill it up through the air trap you see I piled a bunch of resin on the inside right there so these things are really glued in good Really, really good. And that could probably be a little bit bigger. That's 
someone else said I should thin my epoxy before I put it in there. Guys, it was 100 degrees yesterday. <laughs> when it's hot in the summertime, especially when you first mix that epoxy up and it's warm like this, it's pretty thin. It's, uh, I don't think, I won't have no leaking issues at all. You can see it. It's just a flat coat. But before I put this in the plane, that's the bad thing about the super tank. This big old tank has to go in before my nose gear mount. That's why I haven't glued that in yet. And then once this plane's all together, this, this tank ain't coming out. That's the bad thing about the super tank. I don't think so. It might. See, I'm still able to use the lines and everything off that old tank. Oh, I weighed this tank. That tank is uh, 16 ounces with this. I put that on top of it. And this tank is 9 ounces. So that's another 7 ounces per tank we saved. And man, that's almost another pound, Ollie. Tell me. Pounds are just melting away. up I like these ones with the Allen screw instead of a screwdriver. So you can really go tight. Ah, here we go baby. Nice professional looking. Nice clump. Okay. Now that's ready to just glue on there. Oh, yeah. 
for these things sooner or later. Watching that movie Caveman again this morning. <laughs> That's about the funniest movie, man. You know, you can't understand a word you're sa they're saying, but you understand everything they are saying. <laughs> you know? It's funny. So, what's it, that big old mosquito? Lands on uh, a Tooks buddy, <laughs> Lar. <laughs> and he's laying there, this big old giant mosquito lands right on his face to go to bed. And uh, he's ho he's hollering at uh, a Tuke. <laughs> and the Tuke, <laughs> he points out a little bit, and the mosquito just goes, buzz, didn't move. So he said, smash. <laughs> Smash that big old bug all over his face, man. It's hilarious. <laughs> matcha, matcha. Nah, matcha, nah. <laughs> that means don't eat me, matcha. <laughs> You guys that have not seen that movie, Caveman, it's one of my favorites in my movies. Go check it out. It is funny, man. One of my all-time favorites. Now, even though these, you won't be able to get the tanks actually out, you can still get get these stoppers out. You know. So you ain't like cut off from the world. Bam. Okay, that's nice to at the top. Now this is my uh, second fuel tank. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to hook these together, the vent goes to the fuel. See, this is my fuel pickup right here. And this is the vent on my other, on the main tank, on the second tank. And I'll just plumb them like there. And this is my vent, so that'll run to the vent on the outside of the plane. And this one goes to my UAT. Okay? The air trap. And that's how, that's how they'll fill. And this big tank will drain first into the smaller tanks. You know, you got less air sloshing around. Get rid of the, the main tank first, less fuel sloshing. A couple people a long time ago said something about some baffles. Well, what that baffle will do is hang the plunk up. So uh, we don't want to do that. We want that you want that clunk moving freely all over the tank. Nice. to glue on. Now this tank, this is my oil tank. Okay, and it's going to set upside down so the vent has got to go to the top. Oh yeah, that one slid in there nice. The vent has got to go to the top. Mm -hmm. 
sure you don't bust them. Now I, I do have the the big stuff that's going to the pick up on uh, the big tubing, but the vent on this don't need to be because uh, we ain't going from one tank to the other, and this one actually has a fill tube. That's where I'll fill it up. When it's full, it'll come out the vent. It'll draw from here. And this is going to be one smoking beast, guys. Oh yeah, because it's going to be on top, way on top of the. It's going to that smoke will be running downhill, you know, it'll siphon, and uh, we'll get some good smoke. You don't want to restrict your smoke oil either. If you don't get enough oil in it, it uh, won't leave very good smoke trail. And being this big, a half a gallon, means, you know, like if you just got a small smoke tank, we well, just barely want to kick it on because it'll, you'll go through your oil so fast. You know, you can drain a smoke oil tank in a minute, most of them, two minutes. Well, this being so full and so big, uh, you be able to just crank that smoke on, man, and leave a big, heavy smoke trail. That's what we're after. You got to make sure your vent tube don't go to the top of your tank too, and and block itself off. See, it's right up against the top. This is gonna go down here. Bam! That's a stack of tanks, baby. That's a fuel cell. <laughs> that's a fuel cell right there. It's a work of art all itself. When I'm hooking these up, I put all my fuel pickups on the bottom, and I try to leave them a little bit longer, so you know which ones to fuel and which ones to vent. This won't be so bad because you know which one's right side up because when you turn the tank over, you know, you, you lose track. Okay, let's mix up some epoxy. I got everything. Oh, I need to sand these edges. I already sanded them once. But... I Oh, 